Are you kidding? Wow. I'm Mark Gill, and this is Mark's on the Grill. This is where you're going to find all the food, family, fun that you can handle. And today, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving and one of the coolest turkey recipes you've ever seen on one of the coolest machines you've ever cooked on. Guys, this is my big green egg. I love this thing. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with these, they're made out of ceramic top to bottom, every single piece, except the handle. Don't write me anything. <laughs> and the cool thing about ceramic, it holds that heat. It really hangs onto that heat. And because of the way this is sealed, kind of like your oven at home, between the way it handles the airflow and the fact that it's made out of ceramic, you can get the longest, most sustained smokes out of this thing, man. And it loves using natural lump charcoal, which is my favorite, all right? So guys, here's what we've done. I've got it leveled out at about 325 degrees, which is what I'm looking for. And here's the way we have it set up. We got a little bit of water in there because the recipe that you're about to see is not going to be one where I wanted to dry out too much. So guys, come on over here. This is the coolest thing in the whole world. Let me roll it out. Ta-da! Get in here. And if you think you're seeing what you think you're seeing, you're right. This is a nice, great, big bacon lattice. And this is my turkey. You're starting to see what's going to happen here. Guys, watch what I'm going to do. Take a little bit of maple syrup, right? From Canada, I hope. Where we all know how to work lids. <laughs> there you go. And you're just gonna take that and you're gonna pour that syrup on the turkey. Is this not the loveliest thing you've ever seen in your life so far? All right, I could stop here and we'd be all done. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so what that's gonna do is it's gonna help our bacon stick to the turkey as it smokes. Now let's take a little bit of pepper because I'll tell you, if you've ever had sweet bacon with pepper, you know the taste that I'm talking about here, guys. Watch this. This is the part that makes me nervous. All right, here we go. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's tuck this guy in. Let's go ahead, nice and malleable, just like that. Let's get you in all the little crevices there around the, around the wings. Get you all tucked in. We don't want to lose any of that again. All right. Oh boy. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take this all the way over to our big green egg. Here we go. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's go ahead and close that up. Here we are. Oh man, I love this. I have never made one of these, so I can't wait to see how this tastes. Here we go. Oh. You gotta tuck them. Isn't that nice? I love this. So the water that's in that pan is gonna keep the cooking chamber a little bit on the moist side, which is what we're looking for. And we're gonna be set for about, I would say, three hours. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my thermometer. I'm gonna put it into the deepest part of the meat. I'm gonna wash my hands because I got bacon all over it. And we're gonna check on this guy periodically throughout the day. And I'm telling you, man, two to three hours from now, we're about to have one of the happiest experiences we've ever had. See you soon. All right, guys, so I have a pretty simple rule when it comes to cooking in a smoker or an egg or any uh, Kamado grill or anything like that. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. You understand what I mean by that? And when you open this lid, you can let a lot of the hot air out and then it's got to catch up. And one of the things I like about the big green egg is how well it holds onto that temperature. So I can get away a little bit more with opening up this lid. Besides, in here is a turkey wrapped in bacon. So whatever rules there were anyway, are out the window. So are you ready for this? I want to keep it open long, but this you got to see, you guys. This is just the goofiest thing I think I've ever seen. I'm gonna get out of that shot. Here, I'm gonna get behind the camera and check this out too. That is just crazy. I can't even deal with it. All right, it's been open too long. <laughs> We're sitting at about 137 degrees internal temperature. I'm shooting for 165. This is just the coolest thing ever. Guys, I'm Mark, this is Mark's on the Grill, and that is a bacon-wrapped turkey. I'll see you in about an hour. All right. All right, guys, we did it. We hit the temperature we're looking for. This temperature stayed steadfast, man. I gotta tell you something. I got one of those big offset smokers. Love it. Pretty good. But it's an all-day babysitting commitment. This thing is insulated so well that when it comes time for those special dishes, the ones that you see on Food Channel's Food Network's cookbooks that you never, ever, ever try. Well guys, try this one, here we go. Now, just like any turkey, this one has to rest 
even though it's covered in bacony goodness. Can you imagine what the bacon rendering down has done to this meat and skin? I can't even deal with it, you guys. I'm not leaving you there. Thank you very much. And <laughs> you can come too. Let's take a moment of silence and just listen to that. What a song, man. Isn't that nice? And guys, check this out. That bacon has slowly cooked and rendered down into that turkey skin. That might be the prettiest thing I've ever seen. So it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna not touch this for the next 30 minutes and we're gonna cut into it. Uh-huh. That's bacon wrapped around a turkey that cooked for about three and a half to four hours in a giant ceramic big green egg. You can hear all that, right? That's pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and cut into this, you guys. I'm telling you, this is the new highlight of my day right here. I don't even know how to cut into this, to be honest with you. I have no idea how to cut into this. So we're just gonna try. Here, did you see all that juice fall out? I think the other camera got that. Let's go ahead and remember what we did here. Maple syrup, pepper, bacon. <laughs> Look at that. Are you kidding me with this? I am so glad we tried this. I am so glad we got friends and family coming over to share this. But you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of a sneak peek bite <laughs> and then we're gonna wait for our company and guests, guys. Here we go. Mmm, that's ridiculous. Are you kidding? Wow, guys, you gotta try that. Ah. Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy Tuesday. Whatever it takes to get you to make this, you gotta try it, guys. My name's Mark. Mmm, this is a happy Mark's on the Grill. All right, so here's how to make the lattice for the bacon wrapped turkey. Super easy. Every second slice of bacon on a tray gets pulled back just like this. Then you're gonna take two more slices like that, lay them across and put these back. Now it is gonna take you a couple of minutes, but it is pretty simple because now you're gonna go ahead with every second one and pull those back and just keep it going. All right. Have a look, there it is, isn't that perfect? The beautiful bacon lattice and the inspiration for my new cologne, Bacon on the Gill, on Marks on the Grill. See you back.